When you're high above ground and you come across a territorial bird defending its nest, you could be in for an interesting day. We're going to talk about the dangers of raptors nesting on towers next. It's more and more common to see birds of prey using telecommunication towers for nesting. In fact, over the entire United States, there's over 7,500 towers that are homes to nest for birds like eagles, ospreys, ravens, and crows. To help explain what this means to climbers, I'm joined by Marco Ristani. He's a professor emeritus and a senior raptor scientist. So Marco, isn't it true that there's even more stringent laws regarding eagles? That's correct. So the Bald and Golden Eagle Protection Act is much more stringent. The birds are actually protected from disturbance and so are the nests. So climbers cannot go up a tower with an eagle nest on it without a permit. The Migratory Bird Treaty Act, however, climbers can work on towers with nests as long as they don't disrupt on purpose the eggs, the young, or the adults. However, climbers always have to keep in mind that state laws may be more strict than the federal legislation. So Marco, you arrive at a site, you're ready to climb, and you see a nest. What do you do? The best case scenario is you already know the nest exists there because you've been informed by the tower owner or the carrier, and so you have instructions on how you can proceed to do the work. If you show up at a tower and you didn't know that there was a nest there, the first thing you have to do is determine if it's a bald eagle nest. If it's a bald eagle nest, you can't do any work. So you'll have to go back to the tower owner and the carrier, figure out what the local regulations are, the federal regulations, and then proceed with work if you're allowed to. All right, Marco, so now I have permission to go up the tower, but I've heard that there's some differences in the birds and some are more dangerous than others. What do you have to watch out for? That's right, Ryan. So great horned owls are by far the most dangerous bird uh, to climbers. So if there are great horned owls nesting on a, on a tower, I recommend that tower not be climbed at all. Red-tailed hawks are probably the next uh, most dangerous species. There are some individuals that will attack you, some individuals that won't. So you should keep an eye out for those. Ospreys and eagles that also nest on towers, I generally wouldn't worry too much about getting hit by those. But like always, there are differences between individuals, and so you should always keep an eye out when you're climbing a tower. Worst case scenario, a bird starts attacking, what do I do? So what birds are gonna do is they're gonna attack you from behind normally, and so they're usually gonna go for your head or your shoulders. The strike of some of these larger birds can knock you unconscious. So the first thing you have to do is always stay 100% tied off. Another thing that's really important is to work in teams of two, where one of the climbers acts as a spotter as the other one is moving up the tower. If the person that's moving up the tower is starting to get attacked, they should try to you know, get some shelter within the tower, put their head in a sheltered place, or get behind an antenna mount, some sort of protection that they can get. Once the climbers get to the top of the tower, they have to remember that they're probably still gonna get attacked by the birds. The birds are still gonna attack from behind, and they're probably gonna go for their heads and their shoulders. So one way climbers can protect themselves is to bring something taller than them up onto the tower so that the birds kind of deflect away when they fly towards them. Something as simple as an umbrella or a large stick will help protect them from the birds that are attacking them when they're on top. Remember, if you're ever in doubt about what to do when climbing a tower that's occupied by nesting birds, consult with an avian biologist. They'll be able to identify the birds and give you recommendations on a site-specific plan to protect both you and the birds. Preventing birds from nesting on towers is both a long-term goal for wildlife biologists and the tower industry. In the meantime, be aware of the dangers and challenges you may encounter when you see nesting raptors. Stay safe, my friends.